Hey guys, for those of you who are, I'm live streaming with, this is uh, Dr. Adam Nally, and I'm going live here on both Periscope and uh, Facebook Live. Let's see if I can adjust my Periscope uh, right here. So those of you who, uh, oh, that's really bright, isn't it? <clears throat> um, I'm going to go live with you on here on Periscope and right here, and I've got Facebook Live right there. And I'm going to try to do both, and I'm going to try to pull up Facebook Live so I can see the questions that may pop up. So give me just one moment here to see if I can um, pull in the stream that's coming in uh, through my, uh, try to answer questions in each time and, and somehow it never works out. So we'll see if I can actually pick this up here and see some of the questions that are coming in uh, without hearing the sound. Let's see if I can oh, there's the sound, turn that down. Oops, up, there it goes. All right, awesome. So I am gonna see if I can, Happy New Year to you guys. Uh, thanks for joining in to us. Uh, my name is Dr. Adam Nally. I am a board certified uh, family doc and a uh, medical bariatrician. Uh, that's me right there on the screen. You can see me uh, right there on Facebook Live. And for those of you on Periscope, sorry about that. Um, it's, uh, it's January 2nd. Happy New Year to you. Hope all's going well. And what I wanted to do was talk to you about part number 10, uh, which is why be in ketosis and what that has to do with you. Let me change the, the screen piece here. Um, and PPAR alpha, what that means and, and what the heck is that? Um, this is one of those really cool hormones that our body produces when in ketosis that drives two processes. And people say, why should I be in ketosis? Well, I, I give, I'm going to give you probably 25 or 26 reasons. This is reason number 10. Um, you produce a hormone in your, in your body called PPAR alpha. That hormone actually stimulates a part of your brain to do two things. Number one, it increases a, a hormone called S- um, it's called SREBP, which is sterile response element binding protein, and actually helps you pre preserve both estrogen and testosterone. Estrogen if you're a female, testosterone if you're a male. The second thing that it do, does is it decreases or inhibits uh, an enzyme called MTORC1, which actually allows for the preservation of muscle when you're in ketosis. Now, when you're in starvation, you lose muscle, you break it down. But this PPAR alpha is produced in a ketotic state and allows you to produce, preserve both testosterone and um, a muscle mass. And so that's the really cool part about why be in ketosis and, uh, and what PPAR alpha does. Uh, not that you really wanted to know that on New Year's, uh, on New Year's, but uh, there, there you go. Um, if I, I've got a couple seconds, we've been up about three minutes. And so I thought maybe if uh, some questions pop up on the screen, I will try to look at them. Um, so if you've got a question, how does in taking insulin affect being in ketosis? The challenge is insulin has an opposite effect to ketosis and it will actually decrease the ketosis presence. So if you um, have to take more and more insulin, you'll actually see a, a diminished uh, a ketogenic state. So with those that are taking insulin, we want to lower the carb intake so we can actually lower the ketosis uh, or, or raise ketosis if it makes sense. Um, good question. And thank you for all the hearts there on, on uh, Periscope. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, if there's, I'm, I'm gonna, there's a little bit of delay with uh, Facebook Live, so if you're on on Facebook Live, uh, let me know, and I or pop, hopefully those questions will pop up on there, and I can see them. Um, let's see here. Let me just shift that way. Okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> any other questions? Does ketosis cause or increase the risk for a urinary tract infection? Actually, no, it doesn't. It actually decreases it. It has a decreased anti-inflammatory effect, and so you'll often see that. Uh, less. My daughter's 13. Can she be in a ketogenic diet? She can actually. Um, usually kids' metabolism is so fast that they won't get into a deep ketosis as, as deeply as an adult will, but they'll see the effects of even low carb. So if you're on insulin, it should go lower than 20 grams per day. Um, I would be very careful and work your way down with, in conjunction with your doctor if you're going to go lower than that. Good questions, you guys. Um, and thanks for sharing these out on both Facebook Live uh, and on, uh, on Periscope. Again, my name is Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board-certified uh, family physician and a, a board-certified medical bariatrician. I, I'm a fat doctor. Depends on how you say that. Is there any risk for the elderly being, in, being ketogenic? No. In fact, most of my elderly do very, very well with a ketogenic state, and I, I recommend that. How do you avoid kidney stones? Aaron uh, Brazou asked. Um, don't cheat. Kidney stones occur because of a sudden spike in insulin and a shift in your salt or you get dehydrated at the same time. Uh, that happens when people cheat on a ketogenic diet, so don't cheat. Um, good heading your way in February. Oh, awesome. I missed who that was, but hopefully I'll see you in February. 
Uh, cool. Uh, ho hope you all have had a wonderful uh, uh, New Year's. Have a patient with a kidney stone. That means that your patient has too much insulin. How does ketosis help obstructive sleep apnea? Well, it helps in weight loss, number one, and it decreases inflammation, number two, and so it helps in those cases. Does it help with candida overgrowth? Yes. Um, candida overgrows because of a high sugar level, and with in a ketogenic state, you actually lower that sugar level. Um, let's see here. Any other questions? Great, great questions on here, you guys. I'm trying to see if they're going to pop up on here. We're probably going to go a little bit longer because you're asking some good questions, and I can actually see them today. Sometimes it's hard to see. Been in ketosis 11 months, noticed 100 plus blood sugar in the morning. Why might this occur? It's called physiologic glucose sparing um, truth motive. What happens is as you become ketogenic, your body recognizes that uh, the muscle doesn't need the glucose, so it allows for a slightly higher glucose level to preserve that glucose to protect the brain. Um, very well, guys. Very good. Uh, any other questions I can answer? What sweeteners do I recommend? Go to my website at docmuscles.com and look up the Skinny on Sweeteners, and it'll tell you which which sweeteners I recommend, which those that don't spike insulin and those that do, and that way you can look and see. Is hard alcohol? Oh, I missed the alcohol question. Pop that one back up again. The alcohol question always pops up. It's always one of those. And I missed how you asked it, so ask it one more time. Again, my name is Dr. Adam Nally. You can find me at docmuscles.com. I also podcast with Jimmy Moore on ketotalk.com, which is available either on your computer at ketotalk.com or on iTunes. Uh, you can type in ketotalk and find us that way. Um, let's see here. Can I overdo the keto OS? Um, not necessarily. Uh, we know that the dosage that the military will use is up to six doses per day. I use three or four today myself. Uh, do I recommend using exogenous ketones? I do every day. Uh, and you can find those at dynamicketones.com. Hubby is still not comfortable with animal fats. Um, that sounds like a personal problem to me. Uh, I love animal fat. Uh, animal fats, if you understand what fat is doing, fat is only a problem in the presence of high insulin load. If hard alcohol has no carbs, how does it affect ketosis? Okay, alcohol was a carbohydrate, and it's converted to alcohol. Your liver has to detoxify it, and in the detoxification process, it produces triglyceride and insulin on the back end. So your insulin will spike three to four hours later after the alcohol, uh, and so that's where the problem arises. Not the alcohol itself, but the insulin spike from it. Yes, animal fat does rule, uh, truth motive. Um, do I recommend drinking? Let's answer that question. Thanks for the shares, guys. Can kerosene trigger rheumatoid arthritis? Kerosene can trigger a lot of um, really hot things. I'm wondering if you're asking if can ketones trigger it? If you're asking ketones, no. Ketones actually improve the inflammation, but kerosene I would avoid. Yeah, you want to avoid the kerosene. Not so not so exciting on that one. Um, hey, thanks for sharing, you guys. Why do I use exogenous ketones? Because I am horribly insulin resistant, and the exogenous ketones are a bridge for me to get into ketosis more efficiently, more effectively, especially if I um, accidentally take in too much protein or have a real stressful day or don't sleep well that night. Um, great questions. What is the best time to work out in a, in keto to lose weight? Anytime. I, um, I really don't find uh, morning or evening to be different. Does it also spike with extracts that have alcohol? It can, yes, uh, to answer the question there. Does, does uh, insulin spike when you have ex alcohol extracts? It can, so you have to do a little test on yourself. Is it safe to say we should keep insulin low most of the time? Yes, you, you, uh, you know, your body will produce a low level of insulin consistently, and that's okay. It's supposed to do that. It needs that. There's a part of the brain that needs it, part of the body that needs that. But, but beyond that, um, you keep it as low as you can, and you'll do fantastic. There is no carbohydrate deficiency disease. Uh, that means if you look in your textbooks uh, and you have a, a, a sugar deficiency, there is no disease that arises that way. Hello, pardon me, hello from Canada. Is lemon water before meals optimal? As long as there's not a huge amount of lemon in it, uh, you're okay. I put a, I'll put a quarter of a lemon in my water sometimes or in my diet soda if I want to, and that it helps. Um, I'm looking to see if there's any other questions that popped in here. Uh, hopefully I got them all. Oops. Great questions, you guys. Uh, this is a little longer one, nine minutes. I hope you've had a, a wonderful new year, that you look back over your year, and instead of making a new year's resolution, you just keep the fat high and keep the carbs low. That's the easiest thing to do. Uh, remember, it can take a little, it can take anywhere from two to three days to get past the cravings if you cheated over the holidays. 
What do you have to say about coconut oil? Um, I take it every day. It's fantastic. Um, the coconut oil has 75% uh, medium chain triglyceride, about 25% long chain triglycerides. The long chains stimulate appetite suppression. The medium chains convert to ketones very effectively. When the, you flip into ketosis, you actually improve your, immu your immune, immune function and you decrease inflammation. Quick answer. Thoughts on fasting for weight loss. Um, you know, if you want to force yourself to fast, that's okay, but I find that a ketogenic diet causes natural periods of fasting, and so I don't worry about it. I, I do fast religiously once a month, but beyond that, I don't worry about it. Fish oil. Um, fish oil is okay, but I prefer coconut oil. Uh, I missed the question about swine or pork. Just lost mom this year to pancreatic cancer. Insulin levels were normal. Um, pancreatic cancer is a different entity other than insulin issues. Uh, pancreatic cancer has some some other causation, and that's some things. Those are some things you want to look at very closely. So, great questions, you guys. Um, I'm looking to see if there's any more. You are very welcome. Um, have you had experience with keto patients using homeopathic remedies and maintaining ketosis? Some of the homeopathic remedies actually kick people out of ketosis, so be aware of that, Mandy. When you ask that question, Leland uh, Roberts asked, "Why isn't mainstream medicine all over ketosis and a ketogenic diet?" There's about four or five reasons. If you want to re read about it, it's usually it's it's very political and legislative, um, and there's significant uh, to the tune of three hundred billion dollars a year uh, subsidy that 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 drives some of our process with that, and that's that's one of the issues there. If you go to my website at darkmuscles.com and you read um, the obesity paradox, it'll it'll give you answers to that question. Um, favorite sub for coconut oil getting MCTs when allergic to coconut. Oh, substitution. Uh, you could try palm oil. Um, uh, yes, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, Julie. Um, I won't quote you because uh, there are probably children watching this, so we won't use the B word, but yes, I knew it too. Um, yeah, fed up is another one. It'll give you some, some direction as to why uh, it's such a hard time changing over. Hello, and I'm in ketosis. Both ankle joints hurt connection that you can think of. You probably cheated. When you cheat or you shift, or if you go through carbohydrate withdrawal, you'll actually see some flare of some pain. That's not uncommon to see. Well, great questions, you guys, and thank you for everyone that's hanging in there watching today. Again, my name is Dr. Adam Nally. I am a board-certified family physician and a board-certified medical uh, bariatrician. I'll put my name back up here so you can see who I am. I don't know if I hung up on Facebook. Hopefully I didn't, uh, but if not, hopefully you'll catch the replay. Can keto reverse the damage of severe endometriosis? Uh, it, it actually has a significant effect in the anti-inflammation process. Graduating from PA school and we're inspired. Oh, cool, Julie. That's awesome. Uh, good luck with your PA school. Do I recommend fasting? I do. I think fasting is a fantastic way to, to do a colon cleanse. Um, all these pills and things you take to clean out your colon liver are worthless. Fasting is one way to do that. Um, I think fasting at least once a month is great. Um, I think using ketosis to, to stimulate natural fasting is, is even better. How long does it take to enter ketosis? Anywhere from three to seven days for most people. Some people can take up to 30 days, depending on how insulin resistant you are. You're very welcome. Um, consult with my patients in Florida via Skype. I don't know of anybody in Florida that does that. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Keto Talk episode comes up with Jimmy on Thursday. We just recorded it today, so it's coming up Thursday. You'll be excited. Keep, keep an eye out for it. It'll be fun. Um, oh, good. Facebook's still on. You're very welcome. Good. I, it looked like, On my computer, it looks like it hung. It's probably my... my bandwidth is I'm streaming off one, streaming off the other, and actually watching the third. So it's kind of cool. Um, have a great evening. I'm going to sign off. Keep the fat high. Keep the carbs low. Again, I'm Dr. Adam Nally. You can find me at docmuscles.com. Sign up for my six-part weight loss mini course uh, that comes to you through email. Um, we're changing the website, and the membership site is going to be converting here shortly, uh, hope, uh, in the next few, few, probably four weeks, and hopefully things will be a little more smooth that way. But sign up for the weight loss mini course, and you can learn a lot about what we just talked about today. And I'll, I'll jump back on here shortly in the next day or two and, and do part number 11 as well. So have a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, uh, and uh, have a great new year. And again, keep the fat high, keep the carbs low, and we'll see you soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.